What's up, gang? Hey, Matthew Loop here. Just wanted to do this quick live to give you four steps that you can take right now to prevent future loss. I am here in Atlanta on this beautiful day. So grateful for, um, you know, the good and the bad, right? There's so many people in the world that would love to have our problems right now, if you know what I mean. So I just wanted to deliver some value for you today. You know, I've been speaking to a lot of clients, coaching clients, social media elite members, and I thought y'all could benefit and definitely smash that like button if you are um, tuning in and of course say hello. Um, so, uh, so let's talk about it a little bit, you know. We can't control necessarily everything that's going on in the external world. Um, regardless of what you or I believe, the situation is here upon us. So what can we do right now to prevent future loss? And I would go not necessarily thinking in a scrimping, contracting, saving mentality, but more so in a, from an abundance outlook. So I'm gonna share with you a few things that you can do right now, maybe that you haven't thought of, that I think will be very valuable to you. The first one is to go digital with potentially uh, some of your services. If you're a chiropractor, a functional medicine doctor, or acupuncturist, where, wherever along the spectrum you lie, there's probably something that you can do with a patient, a virtual consult, and now that's great with uh, President Trump removing all these rules and regulations across states, you have access to consult with people about wellness or their health issues. So yeah, you're a chiropractor and you study chiropractic, but you're, there's knowledge you, you can probably give somebody that would help them better the quality of their life, certainly. So you can use a platform like Zoom. This is what I do a lot of my uh, webinars. I mean, Zoom is gonna be probably the most affordable option, I think, and most reliable. And from my understanding, it's HIPAA compliant as well. Um, if you wanted to get a subscription, I think it's $55 per month, so not terrible, but that's a way that you can definitely reach out to your people and have them continuing to see you, um, which leads into a couple other things, but so going digital is one. The second thing is doing video content based on what's, what's going on right now. Now, if you notice how I titled this video, the first thing that I said, I could have said uh, COVID-19, but I said coronavirus. I did that because everyone wants to know information about this topic right now, even if they hate it. If they're sick and tired of hearing about it, they typically click on those links. So it would be very easy for you as a chiropractor right now to create a piece of content in your local community. And I'll give you an example. Let's say you created a piece of content called um, uh, coronavirus three recommendations from the CDC you may have overlooked, where you're basically repeating information from the CDC, right? It's coming from a scientific source. Um, you're repeating these recommendations, and then you could, after that minute-long video, you could segue into what you're doing in your practice right now if you're still allowed to be open. What are you doing in your practice right now to, to what are you doing in your practice right now to be compliant to um, sanitize everything. I have had so many doctors do great videos. And maybe one of you, if you've done it right now, you post it in this group right now, just about how you are calming fears. One of my doctors out of Canada sent me a great video and it was just him going through the office, to showing how they changed the face paper, how they sanitize the tables. And after I watched it, I said, man, this is a really good video just to calm fears essentially. So you can take and create content like that there was also another video that I saw on uh, YouTube. You can go to YouTube right now and search the most trending, most popular videos in the last week and what last day if you go into the YouTube search and use their filters. That's very valuable data because then we can, um, like the, the video that I pulled up was how soap kills the coronavirus. And I thought that would be a great video for the average chiropractor to make how soap kills the coronavirus and what you can do. So you make this video, you talk about what the CDC says, maybe you show yourself washing your hands the correct way to do it. And then if it's relevant, you could translate into again, how you are handling things in your office. I think it's a great idea. Plus it piggybacks on a hot trending topic. Um, we'll get it, let me, I'll go into the distribution in one second, but I also wanted to say with your patient base, reaching back out to them, sending emails and calling personally, getting them on the phone, asking how their family's doing. You know, what are, you, what are your thoughts about this crisis right now? They like familiarity. That's a big thing for people. A lot of my clients are still very, very busy. Some haven't taken any hits at all. Some have taken 30% and more hits, but 
that's expected. So anything you can do to proactively reach out to these people. Now, going back to the videos, once you have the video content, what you're able to do is you can proactively promote this stuff. Now, as opposed to what everyone else is doing, contracting, hoarding, stopping advertising, I would strongly recommend against that. In fact, what I'm doing, what I'm recommending all my private clients doing is to double and triple down because what happens is when this blows over in two weeks or two months and it will blow over, um, people want that familiarity. They want to be around a leader. So if you create content and you are perceived as the leader in the community and just always being an asset, delivering value over and over and over, I'm telling you that what you invest in advertising right now will pay off three, five, 12 fold in two, five, uh, 10 months, whatever that is. Big companies have done this for a long time in recessions, in crises. And if you're smart, you're not gonna scale back. You're gonna go forward and really, really ramp things up. And my recommendation is about 80% content, 20% direct response. Um, you can still try the direct response. And yeah, you might have people that are coming in now still because hospitals are being overflowed and they don't need to worry about conditions like back pain. They need to worry about crisis care stuff, life or death situations. So you might be able to still pull a lot of those people, but my recommendation is to invest as much as you can. I was speaking with a doctor uh, about an hour ago and he scaled his practice back a little bit, had uh, two associates and had laid them off for a couple weeks and is, um, was even thinking about buying some equipment because he wanted to tr try to attract some more patients based on pain. And I'm like, you know, if you're even thinking about buying equipment right now, even if you're getting a good deal, you should take those dollars and put it into advertising some of your best content because you could have the best equipment in the world, you have the best practice, but if nobody knows about you, if you're not perceived as the leader, the health expert in your space, and after all this dust settles, people are gonna start living their lives again. They're gonna start getting out more and you want to be the one that they're thinking about. So be smart about your investments at this stage. So uh, that's the second thing, you know, basically creating uh, great content, advertising it, reaching out to your patients. That's another way to uh, prevent loss because you're being proactive. The, um, the third way is to lead with certainty. Look around. How many people are panicked, scared, uncertain? People hate to be certain. Yet, and so, you know, for many years, I've gotten to the point where I am very comfortable being uncomfortable or being uncertain. And that's an art and a skill that I think is so important to master and be in tune with. If you can be a voice of logic and reason and have that certainty in a time like this, that's what people are looking for. That's how leaders are, are made. So you just need to really own your knowledge and skill set. And, and I'm going to, let me digress just for a little bit because I've had so many chiros ask me about the um, uh, chiropractic and immunity. And it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter what we think, what the science says, because there's a lot of science to support that. Um, I would do not recommend putting out anything that deals with chiro and immunity right now, because one, it can be misconstrued in a certain way. And two, boards are cracking down. So it is what it is. Don't go against that or else you're going to be made an example of just an FYI. So if you've included any posts on your page, you probably should delete those as an FYI. So going back to my third point, lead with certainty. You know, I love what Tony Robbins says. When two people get together, it could be online, it could be face to face. The one that's most certain will always influence the other individual. So understand the psychology of that and make it work to your advantage. The last thing is to visit and call urgent care facilities or hospitals. There are so many, often, and this could even be general practitioners or internists, there are so many providers right now that are seeing a massive overflow of patients that they don't need. Everyone with a freaking sniffle is going to the emergency room. It's insane. We have, it's crazy town. So how, any way that you can lighten that load would be a great thing where you can be an asset to medical providers in the community and potentially have a referral source just like that. So I would go to urgent care facilities and let them know, hey, we know that you guys are potentially getting overburdened with certain cases you really don't wanna see or you know they could be handled by a PT or Cairo. Uh, and we're here just to say, we would like to take some of that burden off you and take some of those cases 
I mean, you're going to be amazed by the reception that you could potentially get. And this is a super easy step that you can uh, ha make to blow up your office essentially in a time like this. Now, some states are just locking everything down completely and chiros are considered non-essential providers. But in many states, that's the exact opposite. We're still allowed to be open and um, take some of this load off other in you know, the emergency room, the hospitals, urgent care professionals. So take advantage of this situation to help more people and to do smart things as opposed to just go ahead and, you know, being scared and tightening up and resisting and just hoarding everything. I'm telling you, this is where a big wealth transfer is going to happen. And it's going to be where a, a, a large brand equity transfer is going to happen. And if, whether it's two months or two weeks, if you can come out, I mean, imagine this scenario. If, uh, I guess going back to the, uh, uh, you know, the advertising thing. Imagine if Pepsi and Coke, you know, they're bitter rivals. And of course, we, you and I don't drink that stuff because we're smarter than that. But imagine if uh, Coca-Cola decided to stop all goodwill right now, stop all philanthropy, stop all advertising, period. And Pepsi just went on steroids and beefed it up two to three times. So you're seeing them all over the TV, all over social media. And they're doing these philanthropic campaigns. You know, people are having these fuzzy, warm feelings about them now. Do you, what do you think would happen to their market share in two months, six months time frame? R really think about that because that's what's happening right now. And we can accomplish that same thing for pennies, pennies on the dollar. And uh, it, it's insane. So I get goosebumps just thinking about this because I see massive opportunity when others are seeing crisis. And I would encourage you to associate with other leaders, people that are thinking that have their head on straight, be level headed in this time period. And I'm telling you, if you're able to do that, and if you're able to see through this lens, it's only a matter of time before more prosperity and abundance comes your way. I mean, I, listen, it doesn't matter where you are. Everyone is hurting to some extent. It's just a matter of one, the outlook and the mindset and two, establishing a very, very worst case scenario. And then you realize, well, that's, that's really not too worst case. Somebody would love to have my problems right now. It's, it's all perspective. So listen, Hey, hopefully you found some value from this video. I got to hop on a coaching call with a client right now, smash that like button, maybe share it with another Cairo. If you did ask any questions below, but, um, yeah, you know, there's plenty of opportunity right now. Keep your head in the right space and use these four tips to, um, to continue onward and upward. Love you guys. Ciao.